Hi everyone, we are in this gorgeous garden once again. You may remember some things that we shot on Instagram last night for a beautiful tour that we received. We're back first thing today. The sun has just risen. The birds are chirping, the weather's perfect. It's a very different feel for us Florida guys here in Michigan in almost middle of July. You can see we're wearing sweaters. Back home, we would not be wearing this, but we got out here early today because we wanted to bring you along, show you some of the most beautiful, stunning flower beds. There are more hydrangeas here than I've ever seen in my life. This is a very mature garden. Uh, the owner of this property has been working on this garden for over 20 years, him and his wife, and uh, it's evident. You can see it everywhere. Uh, they've done a really great job. So we're gonna actually be walking you through some sections and if you get an idea, here's just one small little vista and you can see there are several different varieties of hydrangeas, some more mature trees. You may be able to see over here there are even the climbing hydrangeas and that specimen is well over 20 years. In order to get that size they have to be here for quite a while and there are several of them on different parts of the trees but we can just keep going this way because we're actually going to bring you to even though you see all these bright beautiful hydrangeas one of our absolute favorites you may be able to see over here is actually an oak leaf hydrangea so let's go take a look okay so if you live in the south, in Florida, this is a great option if you're looking to add a hydrangea. Oak leaf hydrangeas do very well um, in the south. However, you do need to site them in an area of the garden that's going to get more shade. It's not going to want any of that really hot afternoon sun that will uh, burn on the leaves. Uh, but if you're in the south and you've tried other types of hydrangeas, try an oak leaf hydrangea because these are really great for the south. And then if you continue over here, Here's another variety that has a little bit of pink to them. This is probably Gatsby pink. Um, and you can just see how the blooms come out white and they age to this blush color and they're really stunning. Opposed to one of these types of hydrangeas. Just look at the size of this thing. It's as, almost as big as my head. It's crazy. And so obviously, they're a little weighed down. It had some rain right now, so once all that water, you can see it gets shook out of them, they'll all start to come back up, but it's a great option. So here's an example of what of many of these flower beds at one point look like. These are freshly planted. Uh, you can see within time, you're not gonna be able to see through any of this. It'll be nice and lush, but it's really fun to see uh, a working garden like this. This is also a trial garden and a display garden. So, um, you know, it's nice to see very mature flower beds that are just perfect with form and texture and color. And then you get to see brand new beds that are just in their very, you know, very beginning stages. And uh, it just kind of makes you really appreciate the full life cycle of the garden. So um, it's nice to see things like this and not, you can see there's areas that are left out, that are left open uh, for future plantings. So, and if you spin around this way, this really awesome pine tree. I don't know that this is marked. Let me see. No. This tree isn't marked, but we'll try to get the, the type of pine this is and we'll put the name on the, on the screen. But this is just a really stunning specimen. You need to be here in person to really appreciate it. And then as you come around this side, there's obviously tons and tons of hydrangeas. Uh, it really is, if you're a hydrangea lover, this is paradise for you, so. And actually, let me, we're gonna take you to see one more thing. Have you ever, I don't know if you've seen a hydrangea tree before. But over here, 
This is actually perfect. The light may actually show. But look at this hydrangea. It's in bloom, it's very happy. In fact, this is called, this is called hydrangea pan white moth. So, obviously this is a very old specimen uh, to get it to be in this type of a, a form and that tall. Uh, this is actually probably the tallest hydrangea I've ever seen and I think Jose as well. So, uh, we definitely wanted to point that guy out. There's actually so much here, we don't have time to go through everything. We, this is a huge garden. Uh, let's go to the living wreath. So we are out early today, uh, waiting for the sun to come up just a little bit more for this event. And we were walking around the gardens and we came across this really cool tree that they are, have trained to be like a living wreath. And there's one that hasn't been, it hasn't been trimmed in a while, they said. They're in, still in the process of training it. But this is gonna be a dog. You can kind of see it here if you come down here. There's the four legs. Here's the snout. If you come maybe from this direction, you can see. Here's the, the snout, the two ears. So it's in training. So the one that I really wanted you to see though would be really fun for Christmas and the holiday time. We've never seen this. Jose and I were blown away when we saw this. Look at how the scale of this. So imagine during the holidays, how cool would this be to just be able to decorate, put lights on. I'm, we've never seen anything like this. And this is really fun. Uh, these are the types of specimens that really bring a lot of interest to a garden. So if you can take the time or get your hands on something that already has a really cool shape and you have a spot for it, these are really great conversation pieces. Yesterday, when we were going through the tour with some other people, we heard lots of people sit, stare at this, put a lot of uh, comments around this. So we thought we'd come back by and show you guys. And before we head over to this section, we're gonna show you a really cool skinny tree. I don't remember, she said Dr. Seuss, but I don't know what that means. <laughs> if she means like a Dr. Seuss looking tree. So let me see if it's called. I'm gonna stand next to it. But how cool is this guy? It may not be for everyone's garden, but if you have an ample space like this, and you can put something fun, it's just something different and cool you don't really see. And then we can continue walking this way. And I mean, look at this beautiful, beautiful property right here on this river. Oh wow, look at this specimen. This right here is a temple of bloom, is what it's called. One of our favorite trees of Dip Branch. If you look though, it's just getting ready to flower. So the flowers will come out, they'll be beautiful. When the flowers go away, they have a really beautiful red brax that will make it look like this whole tree is on fire and it's really stunning. And those go up to a growing zone nine, so we're trying to get our hands on one of these. So we'll see how they perform in our garden. Uh, was there another section of the garden that you really wanted to show? Yeah, but we're not allowed to record. Oh, <laughs> yes, that's the thing about this garden. Since this is a trial garden, there are several varieties of plants that are being trialed to see if they're gonna make the cut to be added to the full line. So many of these are, are not able to be filmed. There's a whole section of the garden over there that we are not able to bring you into, unfortunately. We are very privileged to be able to see a lot of these varieties and these gorgeous plants, uh, getting us excited for 2024, 2025, 2026 varieties that will come out. So we're getting a little glimpse into the future.
there's really no great spot to end this tour. Uh, but we are going to go ahead and end it here. We have to get ready for a couple events today. We're going uh, over to Walter's Gardens today for a nice tour uh, that we're very excited for. We're going to get to meet a lot of the breeders of some of these plants that we've been working with, that we've been talking with uh, through social media for so many years that we're finally going to get to meet them in person today. So uh, we're going to go ahead, get a few more areas photographed in this garden, soak it all in as much as we can before we have to get back in the car. Uh, but we wanted to bring you along for just a quick quick little video so you can get an idea of what you can do with some of these plants. I'm hoping maybe you saw something used in a way you never thought to be used or in an area of a landscape that maybe you're inspired by or you just want to enjoy a nice beautiful garden while you enjoyed your coffee today. So we hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe uh, to see future videos and uh, we will see you very soon in the next one.